Well, good morning, YouTube. Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel here from Jacksonville, Florida. Today, I'm changing out my differential uh, cover and fluid since I do a lot of towing and I'm trying to take care of my truck as much as possible and I am really amazed. I took off my Dodge 2500 Cummins Diesel ST ST 2500 two door old school 2008 before the bullshit happened all right well here is my differential here's the gasket in perfectly good shape but what I am amazed about is my fluid after 96,000 miles and I doubt that this was changed I doubt this fluids ever been changed I know I've been wanting to do it for like ever and a day but the time came right uh, when I sold a bunch of buck knives and I figured there's my fluid I don't know if you can see it, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be just pure, pure black. And it still had color, as you can see right here. Still has color. So here is my magnet. And it's not that bad. I've seen worse in a lower unit on an outboard but after 96,000 miles so you're gonna say to yourself okay Dave what are you changing it out with well you see that behind you right there I went with the Gale Banks Banks engineered differential cover they got a real name for it um, there's a million YouTube videos about it so I'm not going to get into all the dirty details. This is just an FYI. If you're a big towing person, I would really, really recommend you go to, uh, what's his website again? I think it's, oh, Banks Power. Bankspower.com. He has got where this man, out in, they're out in California. This man has put in such research. Maybe the rest do it, but compared, comparing them to the flat back differential covers. I mean, how can you not say to yourself after what this bank's uh, organization here, there's, there's Gail Banks, he is a legend in diesel world, that's for sure. Here is the cover. It's got, it's upside down. This is the bottom. But it's got these flows in it. No gasket. You've got a rubber O-ring that I've got some little bit of oil on. Presses right into a machine slot. You've got these runners. The cooling fins, sight glass, and the big deal is, let me turn it the right side up here. All right. There it is. That's what you're going to be looking at right there. You've got cooling fins everywhere, and it's not flat back. It's domed just like this because really you think the engineers at an auto manufacturer 
are not going to get it sort of right. So this is my old one. I can't believe how clean it is and everything inside. So obviously if you don't do it for like ever in a day, it's not as bad as you think it might be because my truck has been towing hard since 2010. Here's your filler. You got a sight glass with a screen in it. So you can see your levels, right? And you got your drain right here. He gives you all new bolts for it. Some medium strength thread locker to put on there. I mean, where you are talking top of the line here, folks. And here's the big deal. The fins for cooling. Now look at this. See that right there? As you're driving along. And these are literally made to break away. If you slammed into something. Let me pick it up here. It's kind of heavy, even though it's cast aluminum. So here's the inside. This is going on the differential. So if you even slammed into something, it's kind of, these fins aren't completely attached. It's, it'll break away. See that slot, 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 slot. And he does that. He takes a big bar and slams it with a hammer and this will break away. But what it is, is the air cooling fins. See the, the actual cover and then there's the fins that are scooping the air. I saw this and I said, man, it's time, Dave. It's time to do your differential. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. And I sort of have a break here because the weather has been pretty bad, blowing like crazy, as you saw in my video the other day at the jetties. And then um, it rained all morning this morning. Four quarts, bring it up to the half of this, I believe, the sight glass is where it's supposed to be. Four quarts, I got the, I got the oil over there. I'm going to run a little heavier gear lube just because it's so damn hot in Florida. So there you go. I'm going to show you what it looks like underneath. It's pretty damn clean. I got lots of space under here since I don't carry my spare tire. My spare tire would have been there, but there you go. I cleaned it all out. Some of the bolts really, really were tight. I mean, tight, tight, tight. Had to bang with a hammer. So there you go. The biggest deal is 100,000 miles, almost 100,000. It's a little dirty in here, but I was surprised the magnet wasn't just slap full. And everything was in very good condition, I believed. As the oil was coming out, you know, you could see its clarity a lot better. And then I said, okay, as soon as it stops raining, because I'm going to be busy this week, and I'm going to run out there and get this done. But boy, do I, I recommend doing this, that's for sure. Because once you watch old Gail Banks, and sh he shows you what, is going on underneath your truck. I mean, he put wind meters, you know, uh, air meters. He put temperature. Uh, oh my God. He, I mean, cameras hanging underneath the truck. He put it on a dyno and boxed in the sides of the truck, put giant fans up in the front, did all kinds of speed tests and how much velocity of air that you lose behind your differential, it comes through and then the air kind of just swirls and you get this big dead spot right behind your differential as far as 
air temperature and air movement. You would think that you would just get flow. And he shows you, no, you don't. It's just something I've been wanting to do a long time, so I'll show you when I'm done. Alrighty. I'm all done. I gotta go test it out. Hardest part, filling it up. That's the hardest part of the entire job. This is just the, the aluminum one. You can get it with black highlights, I guess you can say. Got to do it as level as possible here. As level as possible. Now you can see the airflow fins from underneath. See how that looks like it scoops and you can see through it. So, 12 pounds to torque the bolts. 12 pounds. That's a little job for the morning. Rain held out. All right, well, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Well, looks like I got lucky. Because now it's raining again. Enough to be a serious aggravation. Wow. Dave getting lucky. Whew. Can you imagine that?